this episode of Studio 66. Enjoy the Americana music of Route 358. There's a cold wind blowing in. There's a thousand dreams that together will make come true. Coming up now on Studio 66. That, um, that is a really special song. That's the second song I've ever written. Um, and it's based on a true story. Um, some dear friends of ours from Eureka Springs, just one night after a show, we were having some beers, and um, they just felt comfortable enough to tell me about a family tragedy. Um, and I just kind of, I was blown away. I could only sit there. <laughs> and... Um, when she started kind of piecing together the story of her son and and how he was lost just to just sheer accident just a freak accident um i i knew i had to, to just put it to words into song and so i came home and i wrote it in about 15 minutes
We've known each other a few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're actually family by day, and uh, this by this by night, other weekend, times. and other times. Yeah. Uh, yes. But this started as a kind of sarcastic reply at the kitchen table <laughs> when Derek, or Dad as I call him, um, said he wanted to start a band, and I was like, "Well, we'll play with you." And I just, like, here we are. Five, five years, years here later, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun too. It has been a lot of fun. Cold Wind is the world's longest writing song. It took me forever it's to like write that the song. Ice Age yes, I, <laughs> something yeah. like that. Yeah, I wrote the original lyric, uh, most of the original lyric to that song in the early 1990s, and hated the melody. The melody was too happy, <laughs> and because uh, so, it didn't fit the song, and it took until about two years ago for just all of a sudden I stumbled upon a new melody that was reborn. But the original idea came back is that that when you Jody and I were kind of hanging out with uh, a couple that we know that were some friends and we noticed that something seemed off. And that phrase, man, it seemed like there's a cold wind blowing in between them, like what's going on? And that's where the origins were born and then uh, they're just kind of imagination took over from there. <laughs> As it does. Little stairs, sideways glance. We keep painting on faces and staging romance. We use up our second chance. There's a cold wind blowing, blowing.
we booked a show and we didn't have a, t a name for this outfit. <laughs> so it really pays tribute to Jody and I both grew up on rural mail routes. So that's where the route part came from. And then the 358 is our birth month, you know, uh, March, May, and August. So, yeah. so it's not- And sheer running out of time picking it yeah, up. Yeah, it, it's not as deeply complex as it sounds, <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of where it came from. Yeah, redemption, redemption came about is that um, someone was telling me the story of when they were they were touring in Colorado and and had a um, near death experience and you know they talked about they woke up and there was gravel stuck to their forehead and that was the only line out of that whole scenario was Colorado and gravel in my forehead well, and they made it through an avalanche yeah. yeah yeah and and what what really started making me think is I started thinking about the idea of this homeless man who walks this same stretch of highway and um, and from there that just the story just born of this idea of he walks that highway because he lost his wife on that highway I woke up this morning in a ditch by the side of the road Gravel in my forehead, how I got here, I don't know. And I swore it was the last time about three times ago. Yet here I am lying in this ditch by the side of the road. I remember drinking whiskey. Whiskey is always on my mind, I suppose. I remember trying to forget what happened that much I know. And the stint of addiction has cost me everything that I own. And I woke up blind in this stitch. See, it's 12 steps up from the bottom of this hole that I'm in. That if I would just find Jesus, he would wash away my sins. But I'm not sure that there'll be redemption this time of what I've done. I'm not sure there'll be a happy return for this prodigal son. Oh, I wish I could clean myself up and get out of this cold. Cause I woke up lying in this thing. Cause I woke up lying in that ditch 
This one was just sheer losing my mind about, oh God, I'm in, I'm, I'm 25 and I still don't have it figured out. <laughs> and I still don't, and it's been a few years. <laughs> Watch it burn. Loosely based on it, on events. Not, yes. Not really even true. So this is, uh, again, loosely because I'm not in prison. Yes. I say yes. that. Uh, loosely based on a high school ex-boyfriend that just, it's the the good old-fashioned girl revenge Girl team. revenge like, powers. Girl don't power Don't mess song. with women. Yes, yes. Because we'll get revenge. Yes. <laughs> just, a, just good old-fashioned girl yeah. revenge to yeah. taking Be, matters into her say, own hands. Taking okay. matters into their own hands.
Thousand Reasons really came about just as a song about this whole journey that we, we travel on. Um, and the idea of, you know, going out on the road and coming home and, and, and all of the people that we meet and all the interactions and wonderful things that, yeah. you know, happen when we get to do what we do. Sits and waits This old truck It don't hesitate 